Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by the Alberta Canola Producers Commission. So the first thing growers want to do when they start to determine their time of swathing is to get out there and start opening up the pods. It's really important to open the pods because the pod color um, can be different from the seed color change and the seed color changes was what's really important. Um, there are varieties or situations where the pod can still be green and the seeds inside will be um, all black or brown and uh, completely changed color. And there's also the other, um, the other end of that where the pods can be uh, turned yellowish um, either from, from the sun or um, you know, or just conditions and the seed inside will still be green. So it's very important to be opening up the pods to assess the seed color change first of all. So when we start assessing seed color change, the first thing to do is find the main stem. So you're going to grab your plant, you start pulling down the side branches like so and we come to the main stem. So this is where we're going to assess seed color change. Now obviously at this time of year the, um, we're not going to see seed color change at this point but we're going to start opening up pods and looking to see, see what there is there. So um, with 60% seed color change this bottom third will be um, completely turned color. The middle third will be spotty and then the top third will still be green. But when it's green, you want it to be firm when you roll it between your fingers. If it's mushy and watery, any seed like that is going to blow out the back of the combine. You'll lose that, that yield there. Um, another thing I want to point out is uh, your plant population comes into play with your time of swathing and the maturity of your field. So if you have a good plant stand of about that seven to 10 plants per square foot, um, you're gonna have even maturity. It's gonna be a lot easier to find your main stem like this guy here. Um, and overall time of swathing is gonna be a lot easier for you. If you have um, lower plant populations, uh, your plants get a lot more branchy like this guy here. And as you can see, it's, it's a lot harder to find the main stem. I mean, we're tr there's all these different branches. We're trying to figure out, okay, which one is it? And it, this one here, even if we figure which one is the main stem, the, the plant might be so big that the main stem isn't going to be representative of the plant any longer. So at that point, you're going to have to assess the whole plant, open up pods all over to see what seed color change is. You're going to have to figure out where the majority of your yield's coming from uh, and when you can get into swath. So it just, timing of swathing becomes so much harder if you don't have um, an ideal plant population. So. So if you're swathing in the hot, dry weather, um, you're at risk for locking in your green count. Um, the enzyme that, that clears the green and the seed, it needs moisture um, to be activated. So um, that's, that's why it's important to, to not swath in the heat because there's not gonna be as much moisture um, in, the, in the plant and whatnot. Um, the, other, the other thing too is uh, um, swathing in the heat, there's also more risk of shattering because it's, it's dry and brittle. Um, you want to swath in the evening or early or morning when it's, when it's cool out. So that's important to remember then. So when you're assessing seed color change, you want to be out there um, every few days um, to determine when it's best to get into the field. Uh, your seed color can change um, about 10% every two to three days. So, I mean, if it's hotter, it's gonna change quicker than that. If it's cooler, it might take a little bit longer. So that's about an average. Um, now, optimal timing of swathing is 60% seed color change. Uh, when you have growers with a lot of acres, it's gonna be hard to get in there to swath every field at 60%. So a good place to start is, is probably 30 to 40%. By the time you get to your last field, you'll end up around that 60 to 70% seed color change.